Pitcher Frank Tanana was born in Detroit, and he'll be remembered for sealing the 1987 divisional title by beating Toronto one nothing on the final day of the season. Frank, of all the people I know, you probably are more aligned to Detroit than anybody. You grew up in Detroit, out by the Lanyo, Wyoming area. You saw this ballpark as a kid, and then later on, you certainly started in this ballpark. First, tell me, what were your early impressions of, of, of Tiger Stadium? Well, uh, it was just, you know, of course, being a, a baseball player from a young age, my father being a baseball player too, Joe, um, whenever I had an opportunity to go there, I mean, it was just like, wow. You know, just an awesome place. I mean, this is where the, the big leaguers, my heroes, played ball. And wouldn't that be neat? You know, you'd think as a kid, wow, someday, someday. But, um, you know, it was just a matter of seeing the guys. I had a neighbor, and my dad would take me to games. I had a neighbor took me to, we had front row, upper deck, right over the Tiger dugout. You know, seeing Mickey and, and Denny Pitch and Al and McAuliffe, Cash, Freehan, those guys um, just was uh, an unbelievable experience for a kid who loved baseball uh, to see those guys and to be in that ballpark and to be and as you know those seats are tremendous seats as close as you are to the field you can literally shake hands with the guys as they come up even from the upper deck you're so close so that was phenomenal and then one other wonderful experience was playing there for the Catholic League championship back in uh, 71 with Catholic Central Holy Redeemer beat us but even that was a great thrill to play now on the field that, you know, the guys I admired and, and looked up to played on. And then, of course, to come into Tiger Stadium as an opposition, having made the big leagues, to come in and pitch. Uh, remember pitching with the California Angels and, and stepping on that field for the first time was a great thrill. And, and then, of course, back in 85 when I got traded, uh, my very first experience in a Tiger uniform uh, to play in the, you know, famous uh, ballpark, Tiger Stadium, as a Tiger, realizing the dream come true, you know, who would have thought it? You know, who would have dreamt that that would have happened? But it was exciting. And then to even beat the Yankees, uh, my very first start um, on a Saturday afternoon, Sparky gave me the ball two days after I joined the team and shut out New York two to nothing, pitched some other um, exciting ball games. Uh, remember... Um, my um, uh, a lot of strikeouts, winning my 200th game in Tiger Stadium, uh, beating Milwaukee for that, and then of course the my kind of coup de gras, so to speak, was the uh, ball game against Toronto in 1987. Uh, we battled the Blue Jays all all year, started out terrible, but then just kept winning and winning and winning, and came down to the final game of the season, 1987, uh, pitching against Jimmy Key. Uh, if we win, we win our division. If we lose, we've got a playoff game. So we're one game up and was uh, fortunate enough. Larry Herndon hit a home run in the second inning, and I was able to complete make that stand up, and we won the ball game one to nothing. Uh, Jimmy pitched a phenomenal game. I um, had, had did the same. Uh, for me at that time to go nine innings was unheard of. But uh, Spark kept kept the ball in my hand, and we ended up uh, winning that ball game, one to nothing. And that uh, that will always be my fondest uh, memory of of Tiger Stadium. And I've got a lot of them, but that that one game there will always stand out.